final video, I'm going to present some typical mistakes that candidates make in their speaking. So, let's start with some vocabulary mistakes. One typical mistake is using very formal vocabulary. The IELTS speaking test assesses your ability to use everyday, educated spoken English. Many words and phrases are too formal for speaking. Here are some examples. The weather in my country is very cold. Moreover, it snows a lot. The word moreover, like the word furthermore, is usually a bit too formal for speaking. Instead, you can say this. The weather in my country is very cold. What's more, it snows a lot. Here's another example. In my country, people eat a lot of meat, for example, beef, pork, chicken, turkey, and so forth. Personally, I eat meat several times a week. The phrase and so forth is a little formal, so try to avoid it. The word several is also a little formal. You can use it, but don't overuse it. Otherwise, it will sound unnatural. Instead, you can say, In my country, people eat a lot of meat. For example, beef, pork, chicken, turkey, and so on. Personally, I eat meat a few times a week. Another mistake that IELTS candidates make is that they think they always need to use long, complex sentences to get a high band. This is not true. Very often, native speakers prefer to communicate what they want to say with short, idiomatic expressions. In the speaking test, these expressions would count as less common vocabulary which can help you get a high band. Watch this example. At the moment, I'm studying in Poland. I am going to stay here for three more years. Now compare it to this. At the moment, I'm studying in Poland. I'm here for another three years. The phrase, I'm here for another three years, is shorter and simpler than I'm going to stay here for three more years, but it is also less common and sounds very natural. Think about phrasal verbs. Very often, native speakers can replace half a sentence with a simple phrasal verb. For example, it sounds more natural to say, he got away with cheating, than to say, he cheated and nobody punished him for doing that. If your exam is very soon, I advise you not to learn lots of phrasal verbs because you might use them incorrectly. However, if your exam is not very soon, then you can try to study some phrasal verbs in context, observe native speakers using them, and try to make them part of your speaking. Another mistake that candidates make is using connectors incorrectly. They know that it helps to use connectors to get a high band, but they try to use them without understanding how and when to use them. Let me show you an example. As for cooking, I enjoy making pasta. Did you notice the mistake? The connector as for was used incorrectly. As for is like if we're talking. We use it when we want to start talking about one aspect or subtopic of a wider topic. Well, I think public transport is quite efficient. As for private transport, there are many problems, especially heavy traffic. This time the candidate used the connector correctly. The topic was transport. She first started talking about public transport. Then she started talking about private transport, and she introduced this aspect or subtopic of transport by saying, as for private transport, let's look at another typical mistake, repeating the words in the examiner's question. Now I mentioned in an earlier video that it can be a good idea to repeat the examiner's question if you need time to think about what to say. Like in this example. Um, how popular is TV in my country? It's pretty effective, right? However, you should not do this. How shopping habits have changed in my country in recent years is 
They have changed a lot. Firstly, this is not grammatically correct. Not a hundred percent. Secondly, it sounds very unnatural to answer a question in this way. It is better to begin your answer in a simple, natural way. Like in this example. I think shopping habits have changed a lot in my country. So these are just a few mistakes that candidates make in the IELTS speaking test. If you want to become aware of your typical mistakes, I've included a bonus ebook in this package called Typical Mistakes in English. Read it and you will learn which mistakes you are making. This is the end of the IELTS Speaking Test Masterclass video series. Make sure you watch these videos again and read the ebooks that come with this package. Good luck in your test!